The mission of the uh, Oxpine Hospital is to provide the absolute top clinical care uh, for patients with uh, operative spine pathology, to educate the next generation of outstanding spinal surgeons, as well as provide education to even practicing surgeons. And then the last objective is to provide uh, cutting edge research. Our fellowship stands out from others in several facets. Number one, we'll work with attending spine surgeons who have well over 150 years of combined experience doing spine surgery. In addition, for most of us, we've basically been training fellows for our entire career. I think you'll get from that experience just a wonderful education in the, the art and science of academic spine surgery. Fellowship will provide you as a good a foundation in spine deformity philosophy and, and actual technical training in any fellowship in the country. Spinal surgery is, is converging toward both a, a neurosurgery and an orthopedic perspective. And, and the real benefit that we've been able to take advantage of here is the fact that we have orthopedic and neurosurgery spine uh, attendings and faculty working together and that creates a great learning opportunity for us. And I think that has kind of evolved and, and transcended to the, to the fellowship, to the, the next generation of spine surgeons. And that creates a great environment for the next generation, not just in terms of their skill sets, what they learn, but, but how they approach things. In other words, realizing that they're not just an orthopedic surgeon or not just a neurosurgeon, they're, they're a spine surgeon. And, and they've learned from both, and, and, and that's really the direction of the field. New York Presbyterian is the teaching hospital for both Columbia and Cornell. It's the only teaching hospital that has two um, uh, outstanding top-ranked medical schools affiliated with. So we have three different departments at two Ivy League universities that have combined together to create Oxpine. I now work very intimately with the neurosurgeons at uh, Cornell who are world-renowned surgeons. Uh, Dr. Roger Hartle is a, an internationally renowned um, a minimally invasive uh, spine surgeon. And he and his partners, uh, Dr. Elowitz, uh, Dr. Fu, Dr. Virk, uh, as well as those in Queens and the lower Manhattan and the Brook, uh, are just a phenomenal group. I uh, tell the fellows, listen, uh, any day that you find an interesting case, uh, uh, you're welcome to scrub with any of them. His fellow will uh, spend some time with me and the fellow on my rotation will also be able to get to uh, spend some time with uh, uh, any of the neurosurgeons at uh, Cornell. And that makes it a really advantageous experience for the fellow. And it really enhances, I think, the fellowship. One of the great things about the Oxpine Fellowship is we're really dedicated to education. And education doesn't just uh, talk about doing surgeries with attendings who have a significant amount of experience, but it's also with didactics. And we have many lectures that we organize uh, from really experts throughout the country to give our Tuesday morning lecture series um, some significant weight. And so the educational experience, I think, is really sort of top to bottom and which is uh, incredibly beneficial. By the end of the training year, the fellows really can appreciate and understand the continuity and continuum of care. We do every single type of case here from skull to sacrum, from birth to death, uh, anterior and posterior. We certainly use the most advanced deformity techniques and has been an incredibly comprehensive program comparatively. We have many interactions with all of our nearly almost 100 fellows at this point. And I think that network really brings a lot to, to the table. And very similarly, why I decided to train with Dr. Linky and Dr. Rue um, almost 20 years ago was that I knew after the fellowship was over, they would essentially have my back. Um, they would help me with opportunities. I'd be able to send them cases and have great inter interaction in terms of research. Uh, in clinical care. And I think that's something that can't be understated. An incredibly beneficial component of our fellowship is that we really take care of our fellows, not just during the year, but also for years to come.